Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I'm going to be doing something I love quite a bit. It's a double IPA or Imperial IPA. Uh, double dry hopped as well. And this is by another brewery that I've not talked about before. Pretty local called South County Brewing. And <clears throat> excuse me, they're out of Fawn Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, this is a 7% alcohol uh, double IPA. And uh, it's... Actually, I just noticed, I don't notice this with many cans, but um, it's got that shrink wrap um, label on it, which I've heard is very economical at this point, especially for breweries that want to do small runs of things and kind of figure out what they want to do long run. But a uh, pretty nice um, label there. It looks very peaceful, very woodsy, called Liminal Moment. And I actually looked up what liminal means, and liminal is basically like something in the middle. It's transitional. Uh, so I don't know if that's a comment about where they are right now as a brewery, like this is a transitional moment, like when they're about to break from being really small to, you know, being bigger, or <clears throat> it has to do with this beer. You know, maybe this beer is a liminal uh, point where it's transitioning between, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but maybe it, it has to do with the beer, with the flavors and how they come together. But anyway, I'm more interested in just trying this beer. So, Liminal Moment, double IPA. Double dry hopped, double IPA. Definitely up my alley. Well, it looks like a double IPA. As I poured, it's very, very orange. Uh, relatively clear. Uh, it's got some, some decent-sized bubbles coming off the bottom. Decent head to it. <clears throat> oh, very, very citrusy orangey a lot of orange to it orange peel orange fruit there's a bit of a caramelly note coming through at the end just right under all that orange but it's a lot of citrus right up front and that's that's nice citrus a little bit of like a candied smarties type note like a sugary um citric candy mm. smells really good it smells really good it doesn't smell too resinous, though. I mean, I guess 7% it's on the lower side for, like, an Imperial style. But it um, doesn't smell like it's going to be super thick. A little thicker than I thought it would be. Um, it's tasty. The, cit the citrus notes are dialed back quite a bit from what I was expecting. There's a little bit of a piney quality on there. I'm definitely getting those caramelly aspects that I was talking about. Citrus is still there. A um, lot of bitterness that makes it kind of like an orange peel. Um, decent bitterness on the end, which continues to build a little bit. Um, this is, I, I mean, I guess it, it could be kind of like a liminal moment in, in the sense that it's bringing the citrus notes and the pine notes together with nice, like, caramelly malt backbone at the same time. So it's kind of like... <coughs> It's in that transitional period where it's not flying to the pine, it's not flying over to the citrus, it's not flying over to like malt sweetness. It is kind of like in the middle. It's mixing everything almost on the same level. Um, it's a good beer. I'm not a massively huge fan. And um, I've heard really good things about this. So I'm glad that people really like it. Um, I do like it. I don't love it. You know, and I'm actually, as I keep drinking, I'm getting more perception of the alcohol. Uh, this is tasting a little bit more to me like an 8% as opposed to like a 7%. It's kind of burning a tad bit, but solid beer. Definitely a beer that I would drink and could drink and will drink right now. But, um, <clears throat> oh, I meant to say, I will say for this episode and the last episode, please apply it to that, uh, the one with the Manor Hill Brewing Grisette. Uh, big thank you and shout out to Shane McCarthy and Ross Miller from Ronnie's Beverage Warehouse. They provided me with both of the beers and they were very gracious to do so because I just like trying new beers. So anyway, um, South County, I've heard a lot of great stuff about you. This is a solid uh, double IPA, so thank you for doing that. I can't wait to see where you guys go because I know you're relatively new. Um, so I want to come up there and I want to check out your stuff pretty soon. Because, uh, like I said, heard really good things. I'm going to make it up to Fawn Grove. Pennsylvania's not far from me. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. And check out all the other episodes, please. And if you have suggestions, just send it in to BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. I'll shout out your name or whatever. Anyway, thank you everyone. Go have an awesome beer.